Hey guys, it's Jake at Lexus of Cool Springs. Uh, thanks again if you're tuning back in for part two of this series. If you're this is your first video, then what I'm trying to do here is basically break down the 2022 Lexus NX models by uh, drivetrain, that is. So I did a video on the 250, now I'm gonna do a video on the 350. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use the training that Lexus is giving me to learn about the product. I'm going to show you exactly what's in this vehicle, how they can be built, things that are compatible, not compatible. Um, so first, I'm going to start with the basics, basically what's standard on the NX350. And then we'll go into the premium, the luxury and the F Sport, what's going in those. So um, I still don't have pricing. Uh, I still don't have start dates for the 2022 NX. I saw in a different video somewhere that they have some pricing in like Europe or Great Britain, but still for America, at least in my store, I don't know the pricing or the build dates for the 2022 NX. It's got to be this month though. Again, they gave us the training, so they really want us to get prepared for it. Anyways, let's jump right into it. So again, we're going with the NX350. Let's start with the basics. Okay. I forgot to tell you guys, this is going to be a very detailed video. It's going to have a lot of in-depth like um, data and info. So if it's not, it's not going to be an exciting video, but if you're really waiting to know exactly what's going into the, into the cars, then this is going to be a good video for you. All right. So let's do this standard NX350. We've got the 2.4 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder engine. We kind of already knew that. Also, we've got the 275 horsepower, 317 pound feet of torque. Already knew that as well. This is going to be um, almost, uh, what is it, a second and a half or almost two seconds faster than the uh, NX250. So you're going zero to 60 in 6.8 seconds. It's also going to have that eight speed direct shift automatic transmission. Um, we've got active noise control and active sound control. This is, I've seen this on the F Sports. So what it is, is inside the cabin, you're gonna have a little dial that you can actually turn up the volume of the engine or turn it down so you hear less of the engine in the cabin. All right, we have the electronically controlled full-time all-wheel drive system. The NX350 is gonna be all-wheel drive, whether you get it in the standard, premium, luxury, or F Sport, they're all gonna be all-wheel drive. Okay, going down, we have the drive mode select. So eco, normal, and sport, that's standard. Um, we go over the suspension right here. We go over the brakes right here. And then we have the towing capacity up to 2,000 pounds. Here we go. We've got the exterior. This is going to be all the same on the non-F Sport. They're going to be exactly the same as the uh NX250. So I'll just kind of go over that with you. The signature three-dimensional U-shaped block pattern grill, that's going to be sort of like a chain link is what it looks like to me. Chain link or um, chain mail for, you know, the old uh, knights in shining armor. So we got by LED headlights, two LED headlights on the each side. Solid illumination on L-shaped LED daytime running lights. That's the same um, daytime running lights we already have. Uh, down here, the digital latch electronically actuated door handles with mechanical emergency release and safe exit assist. That's brand new. That's going to be on all the NX models where the door handles don't actually move when you open them. You actually push a button or it senses your hand and then it pops open. So that's what that is. And that's going to be standard. Uh, we also have the ultraviolet and infrared IR cutting glass, acoustic glass, front windshield and front side glass. So basically in layman's terms, it's got sound dampening in the windshield and it has UV and IR infrared protection for your skin. Also, it has that blade style rear LED taillight. And uh, we've seen that in a lot of the pictures, the Lexus spelled out nameplate, integrated rear spoiler. We have the uh, aluminum roof rails that are standard and intermittent front wipers. Okay, going down into audio, we have the Lexus uh, interface system Gen 12, excuse me, Gen 12 with the 9.8 inch high resolution touchscreen display. Some of you have heard me on this last video, but if it if I didn't know it had a bigger option for the 14 inches, the 9.8 looks really good. So I think if you do that and you don't get a navigation system, then you're going to be fine with your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's going to look great. So that's standard, the 9.8 inch screen. We also have the 10 speaker Lexus Premium Auto audio system. You're going to have a USB A and a USB C up front, and then two USB C's in the back um, by the center console. It'll have driver profiles up up to three driver profiles for media multimedia settings, favorites, and vehicle memory settings. So. 
I know how the seats work with memory, but I've never seen it with multimedia. So I'm wondering, it's gonna know which drivers in there and it'll have your uh, favorites saved for your radio and different things like that. So that'll be an interesting dis thing to see in real life. Also, it's got the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. Um, we also have integrated streaming with Apple Music and Amazon Music integration. So that means you don't have to hook up your phone. Your car will actually have the app for Apple Music or Amazon Music. And all you have to do is just log in and you'll be able to just have that on your car without your phone in the car. Um, also, the intelligent assistant with hey lexus wake feature so just like you have siri on your phone or you have alexa this is going to be hey lexus and you're going to be able to say call whoever you're going to give it navigation instructions um, things like that so that's a really cool feature i like it because you don't have to actually press the button on your steering wheel you could have your hand up here and just say hey lexus or you know however you want to do that also of course you got bluetooth technology you've got the xm radio and um we've got these are all the standard stuff that comes with our radios wi-fi hotspot uh over the air update capability so that's basically like downloading your new navigation with the cloud um keeping it up to date like that also an electronic owner's manual i like that because you can keyword for search for things you can get visuals and things like that you don't have to flip through the manual Okay, dropping down to climate, we've got the dual zone automatic climate controls. That's the same as it was in the 2021 um, dust and pollen filter nano atom ionizer system. Um, we also have second row climate control vents. Um, so that to me, that sounds like you get to adjust the airflow. I'll be interested to see if it actually has like temperature settings for the rear. I'm not really sure. It's not very clear right there. Um, okay, trim. It's gonna be standard new Lux trim seating with leather trim steering wheel and leather trimmed shift knob. That's the same as it is right now. Stippled black interior trim. That's something that I'll show you on the next um, page that I'm gonna have that has all like, you're, you're gonna see it, it's the build sheet. Sure, I'm gonna show you what stippled black interior looks like. Okay, manual tilt and telescoping steering column. So that means that it's not standard to have a power telescoping steering wheel so on your base ones you're going to have to flip the little lever and then raise it up and down um we already went over the door handles we've got um smartphone tray and the new nx okay stainless steel front door scuff plates okay uh, standard on this vehicle you're gonna have the auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated home link garage door opener that was like an add-on in 2021 uh 2020 at least maybe 2021 too but basically your rear view mirror has auto dimming and also the garage door opener uh, coming down here three-way rear cargo deck board so underneath the carpet in the back you're actually going to have a flat bottom but it has a tri-folding cover so underneath that you're going to have like shallow compartments to store stuff and then that three-fold that tri-fold um, cover is going to go there underneath that carpet Okay, and then we've got seats. So 10-way power driver seat, which has the love bar, and then the passenger side has eight-way power uh, seat, and that's how that's the way it is right now. Heated front seats are coming standard. That is not something that the 2021s have. 60-40 split and um, the armrest in the second row. Okay, safety and security. This is a big um, upgrade from the 2021 to the 2022 it's got a lot here but the lexus safety system plus 3.0 is actually really nice um we've got pre-collision system that was already there forward collision warning was already there um let's skip down to the things that weren't there so bicyclist detection and daytime and low light they've improved that motorcycle detection wasn't there um intersection turning assist wasn't there before intersection assistance crossing vehicle is wasn't there um so this one up here actually when you're turning left, it'll detect for um, other cars, pedestrians, um, you know, turning left or right. But this one is also for a vehicle coming, you know, across your traffic. And then this is going to be emergency steering assist. I have not seen that in action. I don't know exactly what that is, but it sounds like same with this one here. When you're going to slam into something, it already has a pre-collision system. So this is probably going to turn the wheel to avoid or blunt the blow. Um, for your vehicle. All right, acceleration suppression at low speed. So that means you can't accidentally floor it when you're going at a slow speed. 
Also, um, all speed dynamic radar cruise control, that's already there, but with curve speed reduction. So sometimes when you've set this um, cruise control on the current models and you start going around a tur turn, it goes a little faster than you do, than you would want it to because naturally we let off the gas when we go around a curve. So this one mimics what a person would do. Um, also, we've got the lane trace shift lane trace assist with lane departure alert and steering assist and roadside assist was the same intelligent high beams is the same emergency service emergency driving stop system i think this means when you're using the lane trace assist and the dynamic cruise control if you don't have your hand on the on the steering wheel i believe it's going to start slowing you down um but don't quote me on that because i think that's coming it's definitely coming on the ls with the the what is called teammate, but I'm not 100% sure what the definition of this one is here, emergency driving stop system. Okay, proactive driving assist. Okay, other safety features. We've got all the airbags you're looking for. We've got the blind spot monitor system is um, standard. Rear cross traffic alert is standard. Safe, ex safe exit assist, that's because it has those handles. Now it's gonna allow you to pop the door open, except for when there's a bike coming or a car coming, it'll actually hold it for you. Now, I think there's a way to override that, but that's the idea is so that you don't open the door in front of somebody coming by you. Um, let's see, traction control. Hill start assist control and trailer sway control. So it didn't used to have trailer sway control because it didn't have enough towing capacity to pull anything. Um, now you've got that. You've also got downhill assist control system and trail mode. So these are different than they used to be. Trail mode was not an option on the previous year. This is, I don't know what this is gonna be. Maybe it's gonna be different kind of an all wheel drive mode, um, whether it, it's probably gonna pay more attention to your spinning, your slipping of the wheels. That's So that's probably what that is. Okay, coming down even further. All this was this is the same smart access key entry with push button start we already had that um, okay yeah so everything else was the same now thanks for sticking with me through that i know that was a lot of info but that's just the standard on the nx so now let's pull up the build sheet okay and i went over this one on the 250 yesterday now we're going to jump into the 350 so this is what we just went over right here we went over the standard features on the N an x350 all-wheel drive here's what happens when you get to the premium all-wheel drive okay so this premium requires au mc and nv or mc and nl or sc so you have to get one of these packages in order to get the rest of these features right here. So let me go what, over, over what AU and MC is. Now at the bottom of this sheet, the one that we're looking at right now, you're gonna see all these codes and I'm gonna go over them, but I printed them out ahead of time so that I don't have to flip back and forth and scroll up and down. Okay, so AU is going to be the 10 speaker navigation audio system. So when you get a navigation package, you're gonna get a new speaker system. So NV is the navigation package right there. That's it's going to be a 14 inch display navigation system with uh, drive connect so cloud-based navigation system intelligent virtual assistant destination assist integrated google points of interest and over the air updates and it has an offline mode for con connectivity uh, issues so that's so when you get nv you have to get au which changes the speakers and then mc is another cool feature that's actually called the multi-color ambient illumination so that's going to be that sort of ambient vibe the colors that are shining out under the door on into the footwells things like that now that's one way to do it or you could get mc and nl mc again is that multi-color illumination but then nl is going to be your navigation package with mark levinson sound system so you get the 14 inch display you also get the oh, i lost my spot uh the mark levinson pure play premium surround sound system it's got 17 high efficiency speakers with rear under deck mounted 10 inch subwoofer and it's got the 10 inch channel dps amplifier with 1800 watts you get the quantum logic surround technology for precise audio tuning and clarify 2.0 sound processing so that's all in that nl package right here uh, the next thing is the sc so sc is simply a single color ambient illumination so you can 
again, have ambient lighting, but it's not going to be that multicolor and you don't have to get navigation. So the idea is on this one with a premium, you can do premium, no nav. So you, but you would have to get the illuminated, um, the ambient lighting. Okay. The rest of the things that come on the premium packages are power rear door with a kick sensor and adjustable height, rain sensing, intermittent wipers. That wasn't available on the 2021s. Uh, the moonroof, of course, the black prism interior trim. So I can now scroll down and show you what that looks like. Heated and ventilated seats comes with premium package. We have the power tilt and telescoping steering wheel and then the memory system. So that's going to control your driver's seat, your outside mirrors and your steering wheel. That's going to be saved to one button on the door. And then we also have the parking assist with auto braking, rear tra tra cross traffic alert and rear pedestrian detection. Uh, that's the beeping in the front, the beeping in the back, the parking sensors, right? Let's scroll down real quick to look at those two interiors. Okay, so down here at the bottom, we've got stippled, stippled black. This is the standard interior. And then you've got the black prism. So you can see sort of a ge geometric shape there, darker in color. This is gonna be on the premium packages. Okay, back up here to the NX350. All right, that was the premium. Now we're gonna go into the NX350 Luxury all-wheel drive. So this requires one of these in order to get the rest of these. And the luxury, <clears throat> excuse me, the luxury package builds on the premium package. So um, AU is the 10 speaker navigation system that we had talked about. HL is going to be adaptive front lighting system with dynamic auto leveling. So that is something that you, you would need to get because right here you can see it has the adaptive front lighting system with auto leveling. That's part of the luxury package. Um, IL is the, let me get to it. IL is the premium triple beam LED headlamps with dynamic auto leveling. So that's an option um, to get to get that, you will be in the luxury version. LR is going to be the, um, sorry, I'm losing my track, my, my train of thought here, LR. Where are we at? There we go, LR. That's the moonroof with the luxury package. And then you've got the NL, which is your Mark Levinson navigation system. And then the PR is gonna be your panoramic moonroof and let me just find that for sure and read it to you here panoramic glass roof with external slide function so one of those is going to be mandatory to get the the luxury package if that makes sense the rest of the luxury package let's go over that okay so power rear door kick sensor was on the premium rain sensing wipers was on the premium adaptive front lighting system with auto leveling that's part of the luxury front door courtesy lamps like your puddle lamps they shine on the on the ground when you open the door that's for luxury 10 inch color head-up display with touch sensor type steering wheel mounted controls that's new nx has never had a heads-up display now you got a 10 inch display cloud-based navigation system is mandatory on the luxury so you're going to get the 14 inch display and nav also um, you've got an upgraded high resolution multi-information display that's the the that's the screen in between your gauges, you know, in front of you on the instrument panel. Thematic ambient illumination with 14 themes. We also have the memory system for the driver's seat, that's premium. Um, leather trim seats and steering wheel, heated and ventilated front seats. Oh, that was premium as well. Okay, black open port wood trim. This is a really nice uh, trim that is already on the IS350. It's like a gray, ash wood with open pour and matte finish it's so nice and down here there's a picture of it but it's not like the best so this is the one right here it's got the open pour gray wood it's really nice in person and um, that picture just doesn't do it justice i love it on the is 350. all right back up here we've got the power tilt and telescoping column that's on the premium package heated steering wheel that's going to be standard on the luxury so that's nice and then the parking sensors too okay so that was the nx350 luxury and now we're going into the nx350 f sport so many of you have been wanting to know about that one so we're going to get to it right now okay it requires hl and il so hl is the adaptive front lighting system with dynamic auto leveling and il is the premium triple beam led headlamps so to get an NX350 F Sport, you have to get the triple beam and they have to be auto leveling. So that's kind of nice. Okay, 
The next thing, Lexus Signature Grille with the F-inspired mesh pattern. That is our standard Lexus F-Sport grille with the piano black finish. Okay. Um, the front bumper is different on the F-Sport. We, we know that. Body colored wheel arch moldings. So I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Above the wheel, there's gonna there's usually a matte black plastic piece. Now it's gonna be color coded to the car. F-Sport badging on the front fenders, 20 inch split spoke aluminum wheels with gloss back. So I did not see that up here. Did I skip over that? No, it did not. So on the NX350 Luxury, you don't get a standard 20 inch wheel. I believe it is available though. Now on the F Sport, you are getting a standard 20 inch wheel with the gloss black finish. Also, we've got the black side mirrors and dark chrome around the window trim. I think that's a really good touch. They should have done that a long time ago. I'm glad they did that. Okay, sport tuned suspension. Uh, we have the front and rear performance dampeners and then the adaptive variable suspension was never available on the nx so now you've got it that's the s plus right there and also a drive a custom drive mode so that wasn't available either rain sensing wipers that came part of the luxury okay front door courtesy lamps so it's a little bit of a blend of luxury plus f sport okay we've got the new x trim sport seats the the f sport steering wheel dark graphite aluminum trim let's go down and check out the dark graphite aluminum trim real, real quick so right now in the rx f sport you have the hidori aluminum which is more of a brushed aluminum but this one looks like more pinstripe to me and that's right there okay then we've got the uh 10 inch color heads up display. We've got the 14 inch navigation, which is standard on the F Sport. And we have the upgraded MID. The G Force display is in the F Sport instruments. And then, of course, power, tilting, steering wheel, and single color ambient illumination. So you, you that's what's standard on the F Sport. The multicolor or the thematic color is on the NX350 Luxury. So those are not the same in that, in that regard. Okay, the next video will be about the NX350H, and then I'm going to go down here to the codes. So this is where we start looking at what else is available. So here you can see a cold area package, mostly northern cars. This is something that the dealership is usually going to be asking or preferencing for on their builds, or the manufacturer would be putting that on the cars already but the cold area package gives you heavy duty heater heated steering wheel and a windshield wiper de-icer also the cold area package for the f sport has the same thing but it's um f sport right uh let's see the trim levels i'm sorry i'm gonna go back to my notes real quick on the f sport because these right here are codes for the cars so i want to look and see what are our NX350 codes? NX350 codes are the 9834, 9835, and 9836, and 9838. So when we see those numbers, we're gonna know this This is the F Sport, or this is the 350, right? Okay, so rear seat package, that is allowed on the RX350 Luxury, the power folding rear seats and heated seats um, so that's not available on any other nx 350 except for the luxury package okay we've got the moonroof with the luxury package that is available on the luxury we already went over that one that's our lr remember that okay down here f sport handling with luxury package this is the 38 and it requires the il or pr um, and we went over all of those. Those are the ones that I already read off to you up there. Mark Levinson premium sound system. Um, you can get it in the, the 35, 36. So that would be the premium or the luxury or the F sport. You can get Mark Levinson 14 inch display that's available in the premium on the NX 350. Vision package, so that's lane change assist, front cross traffic alert, and panoramic view monitors. So that's your 360 degree camera. That's available on the 350 Luxury and the 350 F Sport right there. So you can get the three the 360 degree camera on those two trims. Okay, Sport 
uh, sorry, smartphone convenience package. This requires a NX350 premium or NX350 luxury and or the NX350 F Sport. Wireless charging tray, smart access card key, and the Lexus digital key functionality via smartphone. So this is gonna allow you to drive your car with just your smartphone without your key. Um, smart access card key is the one that looks like a credit card that you just stick in your wallet or stick in your pocket and you can start your car, unlock your car and everything like that. I love that feature. It's on the IS350 with the dynamic handling package. Um, it's also on the LS500 and the LX570, I believe. So really, really like that smart access key. And then down here are more options that you can get. So rain sensing, intermittent front windshield wipers. That is, we already saw on the 350 Premium, 350 Luxury, and the 350 F Sport. The 10 speaker navigation audio system that comes with getting any of the NV package or the NL package. Digital rear view mirror, that's going to be on the Luxury version only in the NX350. We have the 20 inch twin spoke aluminum alloy wheels with dark gray metallic finish. That's gonna be on the premium package and standard on the luxury package for the NX350. Adaptive front lighting system with the dynamic auto leveling. We kind of went over that already. That's gonna be right here, the luxury package. 10 inch color head up display. It requires either the luxury and I think it comes standard on the F Sport. Let me go back up. I thought that's what that was. Right here, 10 inch color head up display. So that's standard on the F Sport package. Oh, it's probably in a different package. That's why I didn't say F Sport in there. So there you go. These are going to be a, oh, a couple more here. Sorry. Premium triple beam LED headlamps are available on the. 350 Luxury and the 350 F Sport. We have the multicolor ambient lighting system. This is on the premium and also on the luxury. Rear door kick sensor, we already went over that. Panoramic glass roof. So we want to know that's on the luxury and the F Sport only for the NX350. The advanced park with remote park that's not on any of the gas engines it's only on the hybrid or the hybrid plug-in single color ambient requires the premium package and then also we already saw that it's on the f sport package as well moonroof standard on um, almost all the styles and then i'm sorry the premium packages and then we've got the towing prep package for the f sport or which is only on the plug-in F-Sport, not the NX350. Towing prep package, this is, this is the one that is available on the 350 right here. Okay, here's our colors. I did catch this last time on the other video that Atomic Silver is not this. This is Atomic Silver right here. Cloudburst Gray is this one right here. So this is the premium color and it's going to be cloudburst gray white is a premium color eminent white pearl that is cadmium orange is a premium color ultra white is a premium color and ultrasonic blue mica is a premium color um though then you can see that here's all the interiors you cannot get f sport with pearl white we already know that um atomic and cloudburst is cool because you can get all interior colors caviar you can't get the f sport you can only get obsidian exterior with f sport interiors red line and all these colors right here you you can't get a red interior on red line orange green or recent water blue you can only get the red line interior on the ultrasonic blue and there you have it so that's all the colors we already went over the interior trims here's the wheels so this is what's going to be standard on the nx350 this is the upgraded 20 inch on the NX350 we saw on the premium package and the standard on the luxury package. And then this is the F-Sport wheel over here, 20 inch. Here's some of the accessories that you can add like all weather mats, cargo net, cargo tray, all these extra things like that. Um, and then finally a little more 
in depth on the safety system plus 3.0. So go ahead and take a look through all of that. We kind of went over it already. Total connectivity, we went over the fact that it has wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and integrated Apple Music and Amazon Music. Here's a picture and then here's the 9.8 inch screen on the left side here's the 14 inch screen right here again i thought the 9.8 looked great but then when you see the 14 inch you're like that's gigantic and then you have your mark levinson sound system this guy's using it at night so it obviously has a darker screen guys i know that was a lot of information i know that i went into detail i hope i wasn't too fast and if you have any questions of course just let me know in the comments i'm going to try to answer all the questions um i have a little bit of time tomorrow, I think, to make another one for the NX 350H. Um, but my family is coming back into town, so we're going to see how this uh, scheduling goes to make more videos. But thanks, you guys, for sticking with me. Give me the thumbs up or subscribe for more information that's keep, that keeps coming. And I really appreciate you guys. Um, again, let me know what you need. My name is Jake. I'm at Lexus of Cool Springs. Take care.